Welcome to the love factor. The love factor is a message that comes from God that will be ministering to you and to every one of us to be aware that God has a love factor with you. He is interested in the how and the why and when and what of your life. In the love factor, we are touching on the issue of the fact that you are deeply loved by God and that you are a priority to him. And the last thing he's mentioning, he says, you need to look up to him. On part one of the love factor, I want to let you know that you are deeply loved of God. God, the creator, has a deep longing for you, has a deep love for you, has a deep concern for you, has a deep deep feeling for you in matthew chapter 6 verse 25 to all the way to 34 he is mentioning a few things that i want to bring to your attention i want to encourage you today that indeed you need to know that god so much in deeply loving you he so much loved you that indeed he can do anything to ensure he wins you to him he is more than willing to win you back to him. He's more than willing to let you be aware today that he is deeply in love with you. The love factor before God is a factor of paramount importance. It's a factor that he does not just hold it so lightly. He values it up. He's mentioning a few things from that scripture. He tells you, he says, by the way, he takes care of the birds and he says, I feel the birds. He says, we are much more value than the birds of which he feeds. He says, now behold the lilies, the flowers. He says, in fact, you are better than flowers. God cares about you. My friend watching me, God cares about you. I want you to know that people might assume you. People might pretend as if they don't know you. People might actually feel they can treat you as if they don't care who you are. In fact, even in your homes, spouses, they might feel reach a point where they feel you are useless. They don't mind about you. They don't care about you. But God always cares about you. The love factor is that God loves you so much. How did he demonstrate his love to, you, to us? He sent his only begotten son to die on the cross for you. It's a love factor. He made him sin for you. It is a love factor. He exonerated you from your sinful nature and your sinful past and your sinful present just because he's a love factor. He exempted you from the taxation of judgment is because of the love factor. That's why you are alive. That's why he has kept you. That's why he's concerned about you. And he is talking to you today, my friend, that he's in love with you. Would you mind to respond to him? Would you mind to know that there's no need for you to commit suicide? It's no need for you to drown yourself. It's not therefore necessary for you to kill yourself. For why should you do that? Why should you think that people don't care about you? Why should you think that people don't know about you? Why should you not? Why should you think that they say God who is above all these people who is so much in love with you that he has given already the best for you? What he is waiting is your response. Will you respond to him? Will you want to reciprocate to his love? God is in love with you. It is a love factor. In conclusion, what I'm talking about is that what should we be doing therefore? Number one, we ought to learn to seek him. He says in that scripture, he says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all these other things will be, for, will, will, will be given to you. They will follow you. The love factor says you need to seek God first. This all these things that you are seeking for. The love you are seeking for. The longing you are seeking for. The appreciation you are seeking for. The concerns of people recognizing who you are. You are seeking for. They will fall in place. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And all these other things will be followed and will be fall in place is a love factor. But number two, he wants you to be aware that learn to do what? To recognize that all the needs and the things you are seeking for will be met. My friend, your needs will be met. He will supply all your needs. He says, 
Look at the birds of the air. They toil not. They labor not. But yet they are fed. He says, look at the flowers. The flowers. They don't toil. They don't labor. They don't work. But they are fed. And he says, there's nobody who is as beautiful as the flowers. You are more than the flowers. Will you recognize that your knees will be met when you draw closer to him? And the last thing what he wants you to know is don't worry, be happy. Don't worry. Why should you worry? You'll not add anything to what your needs are. He says, in fact, don't worry. None of you can add a single hair, piece of, of hair on his head. So why worry? I want to call you to attention. Do not worry. It is a love factor that God indeed loves you so deeply. Submit to him. Seek his kingdom. Know your needs are going to be met. And number three, he says, you need to be aware that your worry will not solve your issues. He will solve your issues. It is a love factor. Shalom, peace and life to you.